Okay, here at the request of Frozen Hard Drive, I'm sure that's not your real name, but um, anyway, Frozen Hard Drive, I hope this is helpful to you. This is a, um, a short tuition on the main theme of The Third Man, and this is Chet Atkins, uh, his, his arrangement from 1960, 1960 I think. Um, just before I start, bits of Third Man paraphernalia around. Here's the original... 78 by Anton Karras, film poster over there, late 60s album release, Australian or New Zealand koala bear holding a authentic zither, right, as we are all fans here. So the third man, it's in A, um, the first thing uh, to do is to get the right hand technique with the dampening um, correct. Um, so we're on the fifth fret. Uh, the first part is going to be the bass part. Um, in fact, the bass, the thumb doing the bass, does most of the work in this. Um, so it's it half the job is mastering the the thumb on the right hand. So it goes. First note is. I'm just going to do the um, the bass part first, and then I'll add the the melody line in later, which is just three notes right next to each other. <laughs> It's those three notes, E, F, and F sharp. For, the mo uh, um, for this part, I'm just going to do the, um, the thumb. I've got a plastic thumb pick here, which is I, I can't really do without now. I think they're great things. Okay, so we've got uh, A, and then we've got the third finger on the seventh fret D string, which is an A note, and uh, the second finger on the sixth fret G string, which is um, a C sharp, which is, makes it A major. So we're going to do this. First, we'll damp everything here as well. Uh, open A, and then we do these two notes on the D and the G string, so 7th fret and 6th fret. And then we do a low note, a low E, and then we do the two middle strings again. So this goes... That's the first thing to do with this, is to uh, memorize that, <clears throat> play it a, quite a few times over and over again, dampening all the strings, especially the A and the low E string, so you get a nice kind of uh, a bass, kind of a string bass sound. So this is um, quite basic finger style um, Travis picking stuff. Once you've got that memorized and in your head, uh, we try doing uh, we try putting the melody up, uh, alongside it. Uh, so there are a couple of different ways you can do this. Uh, one, uh, as I said, there's three notes. These two notes are all right next to each other. There's no big kind of um, stretches or anything. Um, the tricky part, of course, is to put the melody in with the uh, <laughs> this bit here. So we just do it slow. Practice everything very, very, very slowly at first, or else you will never learn it. So everything very slowly. So first of all, right when you hit the first note with the thumb, you also do the fifth note on the B string, which is an uh, E note. So, so you've got the low A, open A, and you've got that, the, that fifth fret there. Play that a few times. The next note is on its own, so there's no bass part with it. it. And it's the next note up from that, which is an F. So that plays on its own. Okay, the third note is, is the F sharp. And when we do the F sharp with a little finger, it's kind of a... thumb on these the D and the G string 7th fret and 6th fret respectively so these these fingers are not moving at all during this whole phrase they're staying where they are so first note with the low note second note on its own and then a sl um, uh, what is this uh, kind of a slur. Or is 
that toy. And at the same time that we 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 hit that F sharp, we do we do those uh, the middle notes, so the um, D and the G. The note after that is low E note on its own. I'm putting a little bit of vibrato in there. After you know the, the um, piece or the, the section relatively well, you can start adding these little um, or ornamentations in. I'll keep it simple though. A uh, low E note on its own. Now here's a tricky bit. What we're doing now is this note on its own again and your finger is staying on the 6th fret. It hasn't moved. I mean, it's kind of jammed in there. There's a bit of a tight squeeze there. And you do another slur on that 6th note. And then you do the little finger there on the 7th fret of the B string. Now I want to do that, that note on its own. Slurred to the 7th fret. My thumb is doing the usual. So we we'll keep going this. This is going on all the time. So the, the top line. Right, the next note is on its own and it's the sixth note again on the um, B string. So on its own. And then again, like the bit just before, we slur up to the seventh fret while doing these. Uh, that while we're not doing that while we're doing the low A string. And then the usual. Play it really slowly. Um, I'm rushing it a little bit here, I shouldn't be. So A open A note again. The last three um, strikes are the thumb, just the thumb. After you've done that last note, the F sharp with your little finger, you leave it there and you do, which is just the thumb carrying on the usual. So we've got. Right, the last bit. So those are on its own. Keep playing it over. Once you've got that, and you'll get it quite quickly, I think, once you keep doing it for a few minutes. Remember that F sharp, try and get it to, to um, we call it legato, to ring over. See, it's still, run, it's still over those last few bass notes. Of course, the other thing that um, we don't do with the uh, melody lines, we don't mute it. Or it'll sound like that. It won't. Uh, there it is. It won't be right. So we need to play that differently uh, with with the um, with the right hand. Uh, different than we we don't need to mute it. Just mute. Just mute what the what the thumb is doing. Uh, if we don't mute what the thumb is doing, we're going to have. Uh, It's not too bad, actually. It depends how you want to play it, but it's nice to have a nice little little groove there with the, the muting going on. After
after we've done that a few times, the next phrase is an E7 phrase. And we were on the same position, but we're changing. We're changing it to, I forgot what I was doing then. We're changing it to this, um, um, an E7 shape. So we're just doing the, instead of the 7th fret D and the 6th fret G, we're doing the 6th fret D and the 7th fret G with the 1st mm -hmm. and 2nd, 1st and 3rd fingers. So we were doing the 2nd and 3rd fingers. Now we're doing, um, now we're doing that. I don't know if you could, you could see that. Oh, the guitar over there. Okay, so it's... And the melody is the same. Except that we're doing the bass is doing uh, the low E note, the usual D and G, but now we have to put the thumb over and alternate the seventh fret with the open string. So, and of course the um, these the D and the G. So we were doing. Now we're doing okay, so that's and now we do same as the uh, same as the other A part open. Um, well, we'll see the, what I forgot to say in the other pit was um, the first note of the melody instead of playing the fifth fret uh, B string, you can actually play the open E string. It just means you have to just switch strings when you want to do the second note. You get a nice hanging note, hanging no over note though. But our uh, simplest way is all on the B string. Okay, the uh, E7 is a bit tricky, so you've got to do the open, two open E strings, sixth fret B string on its own. Like that, and then you do the little finger, slur it over from and the same time you do the little finger, the phrasing is the same as the A section, you do the D and the G strings. Like that. Thumb goes over for the B note. Taking the little finger off, we now play the 6th fret B string, and then it's slurred on, and at the same time, that note's on its own, but when we slur up, we, we also play the D and the G. And the next two, next two notes its own, 6th fret on its own, the same as the A section, same phrase again, with the low E string there. Those three three um, bass things at the end on their own, with the thumb going up for the usual thing. So the A section change change the fingers around. Just as long as you get this bit, which is a bit fiddly. Um, there's no other way to do it. Those are the second and third fingers for the sixth and seventh fret, and then you've got this finger here ready to come in on the sixth fret. Then the thumb over there, this is a bit bit more difficult than the A section, but just takes a few times. the Lega 
partner notes to that note to the last note of the melody to run over. So the A and the E sections together. Um, the section after that it stays on the E, but it, there's a little goes up uh, for a couple of notes. Uh, this is a bit tricky. So the bass is still doing, but the last B note is played with the second finger on the seventh fret. Because it's very difficult to put this thumb over while this little finger is, because of the nature of the hand and everything, uh, while this little finger is up there, because you've got to put the hand down to get that finger up there, so... You've got to do that note with that finger, really, or else it's very difficult to do. So this goes... The little finger does all the work. Eighth fret and ninth fret in between those. So this bit is low note, low E, ninth fret B string, middle strings, eighth fret on its own B string, ninth fret again with the second finger doing the seventh fret B note of the bass. This is probably the most one of the most difficult parts of the song. Uh, once you got through that, that's good. So the bass is consistent. The last one, that thumb there, the that finger there goes over there. bit of this um this a phrase is uh based on exactly the same as the first bit and you're alternating between the sixth and seventh fret on the b string for the melody with the seventh fret at the same time as the open a string i'll slow this down play the whole thing at that slow speed now. Well, I could have slowed that down to probably a bit more. time slow down um, and that's all I'll do for this um, uh, uh, tuition lesson um, Step two will be once you've mastered this bit, uh, the uh, the next part of the phrase. So um, good luck with that. It's a great little tune, all around these three notes right next to each other, and keep the bass muted. Play it as slow as you like when you're learning it.
and um, have fun with it. The third man.